guys welcome back to my vlog so i haven't vlogged in oh my god so many months i, I don't think i've vlogged since like summer session so like june um very long time and i kind of forgot about it and now i'm three weeks in i'm in my i'm starting my third week of classes and i'm like oh my gosh i should do vlogs again i haven't done that in so long so here i am woo um so today's monday october 23rd and i have my first pharmacokinetics exam today <laughs> I'm a little nervous like I feel confident like I feel like I know the material but this professor just likes to ask questions that I don't know <laughs> or that like are just they throw you for a curveball you know like you think you know it and then you read the question and you're like wait what is this asking like I don't know so I'm a little nervous but um, I'm really good with the math that's on there um, I need to review some definitions because he's gonna have us like type some definitions into the program so um, I need to review those because I'm terrible. You'll, you guys know I'm terrible at memorizing. Like I can't memorize for my life. So I need to go and review some of those definitions. But um, I have about an hour to my exam. So I'm just going to review those and um, hopefully I'll be ready. I feel, I feel ready. I just feel like the questions he might ask might make me look like I don't know anything, but I do. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and review some stuff for this exam, take it, and then I'll let you know how it goes when I'm done. Wish me luck. I just took my PK exam. It was really hard. So I'm hoping that I passed. I mean, I think I passed, but I took a very long time. Like usually I don't take the whole like given amount of time and I took almost all of it. So it's just hard. Like the questions he asked, like always, it's like, what? I like think through everything. So I'm hoping that I did okay, but I won't know my exam grade for like two weeks because there's a bunch of stuff that I have to hand grade. So that stinks. So to make myself feel a little bit better, I put on Halloween Town on TV and I'm going to eat some lunch and hang out for a little bit before I start some lectures for the week. Yeah. It's finally fall in Florida. So it's like 73 outside today. I'm so excited. I have all the windows open in my house. I feel like I can finally breathe. It finally feels like fall and it's like almost Halloween, but it finally feels like fall here. Um, hopefully it'll last more than a day because usually it doesn't because Florida sucks, but um, hopefully it'll last a little bit longer so we can enjoy and get some fresh air, breath of fresh air. Today I have class at 2.30. Um, my pharmacokinetics, not excited about it because he's probably going to tell us how bad we did on the exam. Like, the more I think about the exam, the more nervous I kind of get. Like, did I answer that right? Oh, and then I started reading the next chapter and we had questions on the test from the chapter that we weren't supposed to do yet. I'm like, why would you put that on the exam? <sighs> like, this professor does that and it's very stressful. Like, how many chapters ahead should I be reading? Because you told us you're going to have this on the exam but you had this on the exam. I don't understand. So hope, I'm just hoping it passed, honestly. Like, it's ridiculous. But anyways, that's enough of my whining. I know, I'm sorry. So I'm trying to enjoy my day. So I have the windows open, like I said. I have sauce on the stove to make the house smell all nice. <sighs> just decided to take a little study break and talk to you guys about how unmotivated I am right now. Like, I'm having such a hard time getting back into the swing of school since rotations ended. So I had, you know, my two months of rotations and then I had like seven weeks off. And I got very used to just kind of like not doing anything productive for school for those seven weeks. And ever since school started, this is the third week now, but I'm like really struggling with my motivation. I think part of it too is like we only have four classes and the only really hard one is pharmacokinetics. So I don't know, I'm just like not motivated to study. Like all, I have not, it is, what time is it? It is almost 10 o'clock in the morning and I have not done anything for school yet. I've started dinner, I've watched TV, I've cleaned up. Um, all I can think about is how I wanna go like clean right now. Um, and I'm like, okay, that's not really a priority. Like I just kind of feel like cleaning to procrastinate basically and I'm like why am I doing this like I love school I don't know what the problem is but um, I don't know I'm just really unmotivated part of it too is like I'm planning a wedding so my mind is also thinking about all that stuff and that's in like four and a half weeks so that's kind of a big thing on my mind too but I don't know I really need to get it together and also it's so nice outside all I want to do is go outside and like go for a run 
which I think I will do after class because it's so gorgeous. Like, it's never cool enough here to go running in the afternoon. Like, usually you're gonna have heat stroke if you go running after like 8 a.m. Um, so I definitely wanna do that after class, but I can't wait to, oh, I don't think I told you guys. Um, my fiance and I are going to move out of the state of Florida next summer and I'm so, so, so excited. I hate Florida. <laughs> I've lived here since I was in the third grade. He's lived here since he was in like seventh grade and we're both just so ready for a change and for a slower pace of life and for a change of seasons and for fall leaves and for possible snow and oh, just like nicer people. Like I don't know if, how many of you guys are from Florida, but I just, I don't like it. And I've lived here 20 years. Like I, I really am a Floridian, you know, but like I hate it here. <laughs> I hate it here so much. So I'm so excited to move out of Florida but um it's, I'm like so frustrated now because it's like so long from now and I just want to get out of here and get into cooler weather and like it's finally nice but it's not gonna last that long you know and it doesn't really get that cold here it'll get cold for like a couple days and then it's back up to shorts and sweating your butt off and I'm like not that kind of person like I love leggings and hoodies and sweaters and like comfy clothes and so I'm just I'm not a Florida girl <laughs> but I live in Florida so I can't wait to get out of here but that's a total side note. See, whole another thing that keeps me procrastinating because I keep looking for apartments and stuff in the state that we're moving to. And, um, which for, for no reason, I'm looking for something that's like 10 months away. <sighs> My goodness, I need to get it together. <laughs> I really need to go study. I really don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna go study. All right, guys, I am redeeming myself from yesterday. I've been super productive today. I'm very proud of myself. Um, so I got up this morning and I just decided, like, stop whining. You're very lucky to be in school right now. Um, you know, there's nothing to be complaining about. You just need to get your life together. So I got up this morning. I, like, cleaned my bathrooms in my house. I did laundry. I got all that stuff done. And then I sat down and I've been studying all morning. I took a quiz and I got 100 on it. And I'm just feeling good today. It's beautiful out. I got the windows open. I got my candles burning. <sighs> Today's a good day. I've been working on my class called PPC, um, Pharmacist Provided Care, and in that class we learn a lot of like over-the-counter medications and stuff, so that's what I've been working on pretty much all morning. Um, and so I just took a quiz on um, dermatitis and different things to treat that, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> which, I, I mean, I just find this interesting because I can actually use it. So um, I've been doing that. Now I'm about to learn about scabies and hives, uh, not hives, head lice, so that's fun. Oh, do you see my hole in the wall? Yeah, that's my fiance and his friend. They were wrestling and they went into the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and study for that and then uh, I have some more assignments to do. I feel like I'm very behind today because I was so lazy yesterday. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna be working on a bunch of stuff, but it's beautiful out. I went running yesterday and it felt so good. It was so nice out. And so I think I'm gonna do that again, um, probably in an hour or two after I get some more studying done. But yes, I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling more motivated today. Sometimes you just need to kind of whine a little bit and like just reassess your your life <laughs> and just recommit yourself, you know? So um, hopefully this lasts more than a day, but you know, day at a time, one day at a time. Hey guys, so a couple days ago I placed this big order on bathandbodyworks.com because they're having a big sale and I just got my box. Ugh delivered so I thought I would show you what I got so the sale was like buy six or buy three get three free so I ended up getting six I'm excited the first one is leaves I'm like obsessed with this one this is like my favorite one ever like I burn this all year round it's so good I just like ran out of my last one of that this morning so thank god I got a new one okay what's this one vanilla pumpkin marshmallow I just kind of like grabbed a bunch um, some of them I like I use all the time and then other ones I've never heard of before so I was like I'll just try a new one. Ooh, that's really good. This will be good in the kitchen because it kind of smells like vanilla-y. If I could talk it'd be great. Marshmallow Fireside is this one. Oh, I didn't show you this one. See that. This one's Marshmallow Fireside. I love this one. Oh, this one's so good. Like if I lived in a place that had like bonfires and stuff, that's what that would remind me of but I live in a sauna, so we don't really have bonfires here, but warm vanilla sugar. I got this one. I love this one. I've had this before. Oh, 
It smells like warm vanilla sugar. That's another good kitchen one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Okay. Flannel. Um, I love this, like, frosted glass. Can you see that? It's not, like, clear like these ones. It's, like, frosted. Ooh, this one smells like a man. This one smells like if you were at your marshmallow fireside <laughs> by your campfire and you got cold and like you grabbed your boyfriend's flannel and wrapped yourself in it. That's what that one smells like. That's so good. And last one, Ooh, keep losing the tops, is autumn. And... It's not even a very strong smell. It kind of smells like apple. Hmm, that's good. It's kind of subtle. I'll probably put that like in a bathroom or something. Because like, I don't like putting the stronger ones in the bathroom because you walk in there and you're like, oh, you know. So I think I'll put that in the bathroom. Okay, that's all my candles. Yay! Back to studying. Hello, so it is Saturday. Um, I just left Panera. I tried to go there to study for a little bit. And Lord, I like every time I try to study outside of my house, I regret it instantly because it's always so noisy everywhere. Like... I just need the quiet of my house so I wasn't there very long I like ate and now I'm leaving because I couldn't focus but um, today I also went to a fall festival at my church with my um, sister and brother-in-law and brother-in-law and my um, nephew so that was fun um, I didn't film or anything because I just wanted to enjoy it but um, yeah so now I'm going to run to the store to get some food and then I am going home to focus and study and get some stuff done. <laughs>